without 4.3 beta 3 is out and with it amazing features have come as well as interesting fixes in this video we will check everything out and also we'll discuss important information about the future of this version let's get started first of all let me do a quick version overview so all the changes that are inside of this um new release are inside of the uh, post okay I will uh, quickly go over the most important points um, of this version that are more related to like the version itself um, in terms of the future of uh, 4.3 and then we will actually get into the features that are new. So first of all they are saying over there on the second paragraph that most of the most important uh, one of the many most important uh, issues have already been fixed. Um, so uh, what is uh, still left in order to be solved uh, isn't like crucial or a critical uh, and therefore they are pointing to release their release candidate uh, next week okay and they will start with the RC versions next week so maybe we can say that uh, for something like Thursday Friday we should be having the first release candidate of Grout 4.3 which is amazing now here is the first new feature or actual important fix inside of this version basically now the future of looking for a new version now actually works because well in the previous release it was kind of working um but all the time it was saying that there were there was a new version when in reality there was any new version we were in the latest but uh, this was now uh, corrected in this version so for example here i am in without and as you can see i am in beta in version uh, 4.3 beta 2 so of course i do have an update that is 4.3 beta 3 and here it will take me to the downloads so i will quickly download here the uh, windows version and uh, i will open this up okay uh, i will open up the uh, application and we're going to see that no updates available will pop up if i enable here okay here actually network mode is set in online so as you can see i have no updates available directory naming convention so in the project manager when you actually want to create a new project um so it is usually created like this basically the folder and the project itself um but we may want to use like other pattern in order to name our project so now in the settings as well we have the directory naming convention that will allow us to follow uh, some pattern in order to name our project so for example we can have snake case uh, that uh, will put there an underscore in every space and everything in underscore in terms of words uh then we have camel case that um will put everything together the first word is going to put it everything in lower cases and then it will capitalize every single new letter okay um we're going to have pascal case that will basically capitalize all the um all the capital letters let's say as they should and uh, they're going to be all together and finally we have title case that will leave an space for example here i could write i don't know uh like this this g in lowercase actually but well the, the project case would have put it with capital g i think that uh for most projects the one that they're going to be using is pascal case because most projects you would probably just name them um like for example i don't know uh this is my game so having a folder like this is going to be quite useful or if not if you want to keep things um basically to keep your project name equal to your project path you can use no convention this means that the project path is going to be in the exact same way as it is written over here so for example, i can put as many spaces as i want i can capitalize them really as i want etc so literally these were all the fixes and interesting uh, features that were added inside of growth 4.3 beta 3 um there are still some things that you may be able to read in the post but uh, maybe they are just secondary or that i basically didn't find much much useful of course we shouldn't be expecting to see super 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 new fresh things that will be super new to the engine because we are in uh, betas uh, but anyway i thought uh, they were they uh, are worth 
mention okay so i will see you in the following stay tuned for the release candidate that as they said in the post is going to be released next week and i'm going to be probably one of the first ones to be publishing that information so subscribe for more and see you in the next one